Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Kazuto Suzuki. I am a professor of the science and technology policy at the University of Tokyo. So uh, please forgive me, I am not the uh, historian. I am uh, working on the contemporary uh, policy research. So basically what I'm going to talk about today is to explain how the Japanese, uh, modern Japanese uh, political system works and how it uh, implies to the US-Japan relationship. So uh, in this lecture, the first half, I'm going to talk about the structure of Japanese politics. There is always the a long-standing enigma of Japanese uh, political system, why LDP has always been the ruling party and why the leaders change so frequently. <clears throat> and what is the implication for the US-Japan alliance? And I'll explain those questions and try to make you uh, understand the, the how uh, Japanese politics works. And the second part, I'm going to talk about the US-Japan relationship after World War II. The US-Japan relationship is very unique uh, in the world, and uh, this is um, very uh, uh, strange, in a way, uh, alliance. Uh, and uh, I'll explain why such a unique uh, alliance has been formed and maintained and still working and getting uh, much stronger today. So let me just uh, talk about why uh, LDP stays in power all the time. The problem of the Japanese politics and perhaps uh, for, uh, from, uh, from outsiders point of view, <clears throat> the Japan is uh, quite en enigmatic in terms of its political uh, structure because there is no change of power. The LDP, since its uh, formation in 1955, has been in power uh, all the way to 1992. And then uh, it has a brief break, but then it came back to the power in 1993. And then uh, there was a uh, uh, three years of breaking uh, from the power in 2009 to 2012. But uh, since 2012, it's been a power all the time. So the most of the uh, post-World War II history of Japan is dominated by the LDP in power. The reason why the uh, LDP has been in power is uh, largely coming uh, out of the legacy of the Chu Senkyoku, which is the electoral system uh, that allows uh, three to five candidates to win in uh, one district. So this is a very unique. Um, if there is a one single candidate can win the district, it is most likely that it will be a two party system like in United States or in Britain, although Britain has a multiple parties, but mainly it's a conservative against labor. It's also in Canada and Australia. So this, this is the sort of a uh, very popular system, uh, uh, which is called the first passport system, but Japan has not taken the uh, first passport system, but uh, the Chu Senkyoku, uh, which is quite unique in, in, in on, I can only witness uh, this in Japan. So this Chusen Kyoku system is, uh, uh, has been in, uh, in the system since 1947 to 1993, and then it will turn into uh, something uh, which is uh, uh, based on the first possible system. The second point I like to make is that uh, the clan politics, the clan, in Japanese, it's called habatsu. Uh, clan politics is the basic uh, name of the game within the LDP, which is the faction uh, of a group of uh, group of politicians 
uh, which forms as the uh, based on the policies and, and the uh, human network. This clan politics stands as the quasi uh, change of government. If there is a change of clans, change of uh, prime ministers, it functions as uh, uh, as as if it was a change of government or change of power. And also, uh, one of the uh, reason the LDP was in power was because of the weak opposition. The political division was based on the idea of constitution, particularly the pacifist constitution, rather than the economic issue. So the LDP has been playing in a sort of a very uh, broad uh, spectrum of the political ideology uh, from the liberals to the neoconservative and but the LDP was generally accepting the policies which fits to the, uh, the, the demand of people so uh, in in the political science term it's called catch all party so LDP tried to catch all the uh, interest of different uh, portion of the, of the society. Another point is the iron triangle of politics. It's the politicians, bureaucrats, and industry alliance. And this was formed largely because of the Senkyoku, uh, the Chu Senkyoku system, the, the electoral system. And also it's uh, coming out of the Japanese uh, mode of the economic development after World War II. So 1993, there was a change of electoral system, but still LDP maintained in power. Why? I'll explain that later. And there is a trust in among the people to the LDP of its experience of governance, uh, despite that people don't really believe in the LDP or people don't really like LDP. So this sort of uh, uh, trust is uh, is supporting the, uh, the the power of LDP uh, uh, and maintain the LDP in in power. So let me just explain first the, what is the Chu Senkyoku. Chu Senkyoku is to elect three to five candidates uh, from the district. So if you want to win the diet, majority in the diet, diet is, uh, is a parliament or Congress, and you need to win the majority in the district because you know if the, all the um, districts have either three to five uh, winners. So if you want to have the majority, you better have the um, <clears throat> multiple candidate and this multiple candidate, for example, this, uh, this group uh, of this color and, uh, and this group, this is the LDP, LDP, and this is opposition, opposition, and opposition. So opposition also have the pro candidates, but uh, what is interesting is that this is uh, uh, a, 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 a lot of winners. So you don't need to have the, you know, more than 50% votes. You can only win with 20% vote in this case. It's a 30, 25, 20, 15, 10%. So the top three will go through. And the, if you want to be the politicians or, or parliamentarian, then you just try to be, take the, the, the least possible uh, amount of vote uh, to pass this three winners. And what is also interesting is that the candidate A and candidate C belongs to the same party. So if the, uh, the uh, election is fighting, uh, 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 the candidates are fighting with the same policy, the party policy, it doesn't make a difference between A and C. So the candidate A and candidate C says, yes, I am from LDP, but I am different from candidate C or candidate A. 
I can bring the goodies to, to this district. I can be, I can serve better than the candidate. So there is a competition among the same party candidates. So this is a tricky part of this Chu Senkyoku. Chu Senkyoku makes the party as a one, uh, one unity, but at the same, at the district level, party is the rival. The, the party, the same party member is the rival. So what the candidate A or candidate C will do is to get a grip of the certain particular group of people, for example, the doctors or the truck drivers or, or uh, 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 merchants or you know, the small shop owners. You know, there are always the group of people which forms the sort of a, 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 a press, uh, you know, the lobbyist or or um, or activist uh, to put the pressure on each candidate and try to realize their interest through the candidates. So candidates will have the particular connection with a particular industry, particular group of people who has a particular interest. So candidate A or candidate C represents those interests and those interests needs to be realized through the, 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 through the party system and the party will put that into a policy. So there is a close relationship between the candidates and the particular interest. So this is the supporter system, the candidates own supporters and candidate A and candidate C will have their own independent supporter, uh, supporter group. And this would make the clan politics. The clan is, are the gr group of politicians and the particular powerful politician. So the aim of the clan is to bring the boss of the clan to be the prime minister so that the followers in the clan will have the better position in the government, like a ministerial position or vice minister, you know, uh, and also uh, important position in the party to, to shape, the, uh, shape the policies. They want to be in those groups, uh, which is the powerful clan and, and those uh, powerful clans will have more resources to distribute more post for the the follow politicians to uh, <clears throat> to get and those fellow politicians will will be happy to be let's say the minister for agriculture minister for, minister for transportation and then they can bring the goodies to their own district uh, if you are in the Ministry of Agriculture, there will be uh, more um, financial support for a particular uh, uh, particular uh, district, uh, which is uh, facing the difficult problems. So the minister will have a power to direct the policy towards the favor of your own district. So this is why the fellow politicians want to join the bigger clan and the you know the powerful politicians which will imp improve the possibility that they can be in the, in a good post however if the clan is too big then you are in the waiting list for a long time so sometimes people are breaking out from the big clan and establish a new clan so there will be a lot of uh, changing uh, shaping and you know uh, transferring from one clan to another in order to get the better opportunities to get into the power. And the, in terms of the nature of the clan, it's not just the uh, ministerial post, but also <clears throat> uh, there will be uh, exchange of money. So the fellow politicians were supporting uh, boss to, to win the party elections. And the, uh, the boss 
delivers uh, or distributes certain money for funding the uh, financing the electoral uh, elections. So the, it's not the party which deals with the uh, money and finance for the uh, electro, um, electoral activities, but it is, and it is not the politician themselves who collect the money, it is the boss who collect the money and distribute to the fellow politicians. The boss will use its power to shape the policies and because they are powerful politicians in LDP so that they can be very powerful to push certain interest. So there'll be a very close relationship with the big industrial group, such as a group of electric companies, group of uh, uh, automobile companies, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And these groups will support particular politicians and to donate the money. So this donation will be used as the uh, gasoline for the running the clans. And this is the reason why there are so much frequent changes of the politicians. Prime Minister, to some extent, there has been a long, um, you know, the, the, the uh, Ikeda, Sato, um, you know, uh, in, in the past, there were uh, a prime minister which serve a longer time, but there are frequent changes of the ministerial position almost every year. And this is one of the reasons why, because you need to, uh, if you want to run the clan, you need to have the frequent change of the people so that everyone gets the goodies, everyone gets the post so that they can be in a ministerial position. And the minister, one, once everyone wants to be a minister, and once they are in the minister, they try to do the best for their district in order to exercise their power to be as the um, in, in the ministerial position. So this is the reason why there is a sort of a music, musical chair of the uh, of the Japanese politics. And why then the opposition couldn't win? win the, the election. Why oppositions are so weak? Because the division of the parties were, were around the constitution. LDP was in, uh, initially and still is aiming towards the change of constitution, particularly the article nine of constitution. I'll discuss the article nine later. But the, the oppositions which have strong um, which appeals for the people that they are the one who protects the constitution from LDP and maintain the article nine. Because in Japan, article nine believed that, is believed that article nine is the reason why Japan is not engaged in the war. Article nine was the sort of a guardian of Japan. So uh, Japan, because of the Article 9, Japan was not involved in the Korean War, Vietnam War, and Japan involved in the Gulf War to only for the financial level, uh, in the Afghan, Afghanistan and, and, uh, and the Iraqi War. These wars are not, Japan was not a major part of it. So um, because of the a, a, a stigmatized image of the military and a very big trauma of the World War II still uh, dominates the Japanese mindset so that the people don't want to engage into a war. So that's why the, um, the oppositions appealing to the people that they are the one who guarantees that uh, the constitution will be protected because the constitution change takes a very high hurdle. Uh, constitution, change of constitution requires two thirds majority in both houses, upper house and the lower house, and also win the majority in the referendum. So for the opposition, the most important thing is to maintain more than one third seats. So the 
opposition's role was to play as the blocker of the change of constitution and the check of the be checking the behavior of the government. So evidently, the, the, the oppositions are not trying to take the power. And in fact, they are not putting enough candidates to gain the majority, actually. So they tend to be satisfied as long as they have more than one third of seats. So, and then what LDP does was to negotiate with the opposition and take some proposals to satisfy the opposition that, you know, the oppositions are happy because they can be um, involved in the uh, policy making process by letting the LDP uh, open the door and to make proposals and the LDP just take those proposals. So the, the, minor, the opposition's minorities will have a chance to, um, to make some proposals and, and realize in, in, as, a, as a policy. Of course, this is not the major uh, outcome of this uh, uh, Japanese uh, political system, but still there is a you know, consolation price. The Iron Triangle is another uh, significant uh, signature case in Japan. Um, Iron Triangle is the combination of politics, bureaucrats, and, and the industry. So for example, in this chart, you can see the LDP Zokugin is the group of the LDP politicians who, are, uh, who has the stronger interest in agriculture. This is an agricultural case. For, so MAF is the Ministry of Agriculture, Fishery and Forestry. And the JA is Japan Agriculture. So this is the a group of the cooperative. Uh, this is a cooperative of the agri, you know, the farmers. So the JA, the group of farmers, uh, promises to give votes to the LDP. And LDP, based on this relationship with JA, the LDP pushes the MAF to, to spend more budget in the uh, <clears throat> more budget uh, for the uh, for for the farmers, and the um, MAF, which the, which has the power to decide the price of rice, so uh, MAF puts the higher price policy uh, for satisfying the rice farmers. So this is the iron triangle that everyone has some. Um, something to win. Well, of course, at the end of the day, it is the taxpayer who, lo who loses because it is JA which gets the most uh, biggest benefit from the Cyan Triangle. And uh, uh, JA will have the, you know, the uh, fellow uh, farmers in this, um, this system and the JA provides the uh, services, you know, uh, buying crops or sales of fertilizers or advancing uh, advices, the, the farming. And then uh, in return, the part-time farmers will provide the uh, promises to vote for LDP and, and commission for the crop sales. So basically um, this is how the iron triangle works. So it's an exchange of votes and budget, and there is a very strong incentive for the LDP uh, politicians to be a minister. In, in this case, minister, minister for agriculture. And the Zokugin is the group of candidates for the future uh, minister for, for agriculture. And the industry depends on the politicians to change policies. And this is making this very fertile ground of, for corruptions. And in fact, there were many corruptions uh, between the industry and the LDP because the LDP powerful politicians need more money to distribute uh, to the fellow politicians in the, in the clan politics. So the, this uh, corruption became the subject of 
the negative campaign by the opposition. And this is one of the reasons why the LDP lost its power in 1992, only briefly, but uh, it was a reason uh, that they lost the power uh, uh, in, in, for, for the first time in, in the post-war history. So because of this very fixed system of the, uh, uh, of the Japanese politics, there has been a lot of discussion about whether we need to change the electoral system because the Chu Senkyokusei, or Chu Senkyoku, uh, th three to five candidates win the one, one district, makes a further ground for the clan politics, iron triangle, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So this would need to be changed and make the Japanese political system to be more flexible and more responsive, uh, res uh, responding to the uh, demands of people, and also make it more, you know, increase the possibility of the change of power. So there was a uh, introduction of Shosen Kyoku, which is the first possible system with a proportion, uh, a, a, a good portion of the uh, proportional election. Currently there are 280, seats for the first possible system and 100 seats for the proportional election. The, um, this has changed the dynamics and the system of the Japanese, uh, Japanese politics. First, since there is no intra-party candidate fighting in the same district, there'll be no more need for the clan politics because the um, candidates will represent their own uh, party and the party politics, party, the policies of the party reflects on the candidate's policy. So it is more like a set election is more like a selection of parties rather than the selection of candidates. In the Chu Sen Kyuk time, it was more candidate himself or herself than the parties. So since the party is the center of the electoral system, then the concentration of power goes to the party leader because the party leaders becomes as a representation of the party itself and the voter choose not by the candidates, but by the parties. So leadership is important. What kind of policies that leaders will provide is important. And also following to the change of electoral system, there was an administrative change, um, which, is, which took place in 2001 to uh, concentrate the power to the prime minister's office. So LDP leader, which became as the prime minister is now having the both power, concentrated power for the top party and against the fellow politician and also within the government. So the prime minister became a party leader, LDP party leader and the prime minister became a very strong position in, in the uh, Japanese political system. And because of the corruption uh, in the uh, late 1980s and early 1990s, the distribution of money is strictly controlled by the law. So numerous, scan well, numerous scandals has tightened this uh, 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 regulation for transparency and uh, the relationship between the politicians and the money is now being uh, very, uh, it's, it, it still is, there, there still is a, a certain a small petty corruptions, but not as the large scale of, uh, um, of uh, corruptions and scandals like the uh, Lockheed, um, Lockheed incident by the uh, Tanaka Kakue or the Likrut, uh, which is another uh, big uh, scandal uh, with Takeshita, both are prime ministers. There was 
and what is interesting is that um, there was a change of government in 19, 2009 to 2012, and it was the DPJ, the Democratic Party of Japan, took power <coughs> because of the lack of popularity for the LDP, and people want, wanted to have a change. But the DPJ was very experimental uh, party, and they have done a, a, a lot of uh, experimental policies, like um, taking a distance from the bureaucratic system. The LDP politicians heavily depend on the uh, bureaucratic system because, because of the musical chair. You know, every minister changes every year so that, you know, the polit politicians doesn't have the time to study the um, the nitty gritty of the part of the policies. So it is the it is the bureaucrats which provides the inputs and then you know the direction, the policy direction, guidelines, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And the politician, the power relationship between the politician and bureaucrats, uh, the bureaucrats are always win. So politicians usually feel comfortable just sitting on top of the bureaucratic system and to get the, uh, you know, to do the things, basically the, what the bureaucrats tell, tell him to, to do. And DPJ was trying to break that. DPJ wants to be the experts on policies and DPJ wants to control the bureaucrats. Of course, there was a, a, a huge, uh, resistance from the bureaucrats, and therefore it was, it, it failed to uh, to promote uh, certain policies or many policies uh, which are promised during the election, and also the uh, proportional election part, which is the hundred uh, seats part, um, kept as the small opposition uh, a chance to be alive, like a socialist, which became a very small. Uh, parties and other uh, small parties which are ex which existed uh, which is allowed to exist in uh, in the party system so the oppositions are now being as torn apart into a smaller pieces and this division of opposition when they come to the first possible system ldp candidate against uh, opposition one, opposition two, opposition three, opposition four. So even though the LDP doesn't have the majority of the votes, like let's say 40%, but if the opposition one gets 30%, opposition two get the 20%, opposition three get to 10%, then the LDP wins. So if the oppositions get together and make only one single candidate against the LDP, the opposition may win by 60% because the LDP only get to 40%. So this division of opposition makes, the, uh, makes it possible for the, keeping the LDP in power. So let's stop here.